वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन इन्फी ज्ञान टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम रेडिकल इक्वेशन इट इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट ऑल रियल सोल्यूशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड आई विल राइट माई रेडिकल इक्वेशन एज टू प्लस स्क्वायर रूट दिस वन वी कैन राइट टू माइनस वन माइनस एक्स राइट हैंड साइड इज एक्स प्लस वन नाउ वी विल राइट स्क्वायर रूट टू प्लस स्क्वायर रूट टू एंड देन माइनस इज कॉमन सो एक्स प्लस वन एंड राइट हैंड साइड इज एक्स प्लस वन नाउ आई विल यूज सब्सटीट्यूशन वी कैन कंसिडर एक्स प्लस वन Suppose it is equal to a, so our equation will become two plus square root two minus a equal to a. Let's consider squaring both sides. So I will consider squaring this side. I need to consider squaring this side. Now square root and square term will be over, so it will be left. 2 plus square root 2 minus a equal to a square. Take away 2 from both sides, so we can write square root 2 minus a equal to a square minus 2. Let us consider this equation. A square root 2 minus a equal to A square minus two. Now I will consider two minus a as suppose it is y square. So this equation will become square root of y square. So y equal to a square minus two. Now I will write our substitution two minus a equal to y square. So from here I can write. A is equal to two minus y square. Let us write this equation here. So I will write a equal to two minus y square. Add both the equations. Once I will add, I will write a plus y or y plus a equal to these two terms will be cancelled out. So I will write a square minus y square. Now let's apply the formula of difference of two squares. So I will write a plus y equal to a plus y times a minus y. Take all the term to one side. So I will write a plus y minus a plus y times a minus y equal to zero. Now a plus y is common. So a plus y in bracket will write one minus a plus y equal to zero. Now see what is y. Y is a square minus two. So I will consider here a. Let's put the value of y a square minus two. So it will become a square minus two. First bracket. Second bracket one minus a, and then I will be writing a square minus two from this equation equal to zero. So we are having two quadratic equations. If I will write a square plus a minus two, and second bracket it is a square minus a minus one. So let's write both the equations. A square plus A minus two, and second equation is a square minus a minus one equal to zero. So I can say f dot g equal to zero. That means either f equal to zero. So I will be writing a square plus a minus two equal to zero, or a square minus a minus one will be zero. so two equations 
we will find out the value of a let's apply factorization or quadratic formula so let me consider here factorization i can split my central term as 2a minus a minus 2 equal to 0 now from first two terms a is common so i will be writing a plus 2 from these two terms i will take minus 1 common a plus 2 equal 0 now i will write a plus 2 times a minus 1 equal to 0 so from here i can write either a plus 2 equal to 0 or a minus 1 will be equal to 0 so conclusion from this side from this quadratic equation we can write a is equal to minus 2 a is equal to 1 so two a values we have calculated then let us consider this quadratic equation the second one now i will use quadratic formula minus b so 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 1 square 1 minus 4 a c so plus 4 divided by 2 a so 2 a will be equal to 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2 so i will write the two values separately uh, 1 plus root 5 over 2 and then i will be writing 1 minus square root 5 over 2 so we have calculated four real values minus 2 1 1 plus root 5 over 2 and 1 minus root 5 over 2 let us write all the four values here first so i will be writing a is equal to 1 minus 2 1 plus root 5 over 2 and 1 minus root 5 over 2 now what was a a was our substitution a was x plus 1 so in place of a we can write x plus 1 equal to 1 minus 2 1 plus root 5 over 2 and 1 minus root 5 over 2 now take away 1 from this complete solution equation so i will write here left hand side will be x now 1 minus 1 0 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 1 plus root 5 over 2 minus 1 so it will become root 5 minus 1 over 2 it will be 1 plus root 5 minus 2 so it will be root 5 minus 1 now last value is 1 minus root 5 over 2 minus 1 then we will be writing here minus 1 minus root 5 divided by 2 now now we know that root 5 value is 2.236 so if i will approximately if i will calculate the values then it is 0 minus 3 no issue now root 5 minus 1 over 2 if you will put 2.236 minus 1 so 1.236 over 2 so this value will be somewhere 0 0.618 and fourth value is minus 3.236 over 2 so it will be minus 1.618 approximate value now if you will see only our equation the rhs part so of course for real solution x plus 1 should be positive that means x should be greater than minus 1 or negative 1. So we can reject easily two values minus 3 and minus 1.618 as it is less than minus 1. And what is asked it should be greater than minus 1. So we can reject these two values. So two values are accepted 0 and 0 0.618 let us check whether they are still true or not or 0 and root 5 minus 1 over 2 accepted solutions so far let's check so if i will put x equal to 0 so i will be writing lhs as 2 plus square root 1 minus 0 
so lhs will be square root 2 plus root 1 which is square root 2 plus 1 so left hand side is ultimately root 3 what about rhs rhs is 0 plus 1 that means 1 so it is also not true x equal to 0 we won't accept and we can check using domain also but it is not true so which value is accepted it is x is equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2 this is the only solution if you want to check let's check so i will be writing lhs as 2 plus square root 1 minus so let me put the approx value 0.618 so here i will be writing 0.618 okay square root of 2 plus square root 1 minus 0.618 this value is 0.382 if i will take the square root of this then it is coming out 0.618 so this will become a square root 2.618 and if you will see it is coming out value 0 1.618 and which is our rhs if i will put here in rhs x plus 1 so x is 0. 0.618 plus 1 plus 1 so this value is 1.618 which is matching with lhs rhs are same so that means this is the only real solution possible for this radical equation i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget friends to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself bye bye